गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन तो दिस इज द प्रोग्राम फॉर द समर कोर्स एंड जस्ट विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इन क्लास इलेवन और ट्वेल्व दो जो पास इन क्लास टेन ओके और दो जो प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो इलेवन और ट्वेल्व यू कैन ऑल्सो टेक द क्लासेस ऑफ द समर प्रोग्राम तो in the previous class we have already discussed some problems of the trigonometric functions that is the basic concept of trigonometric identities and that is considered for the uh, in right angle triangles which consider on base perpendicular and hypotenuse is there and six trigonometric ratios we have discussed here the sin theta cos theta tan theta cosec theta sec theta tan cot theta that is The six trigonometric ratio, whatever we have used in your life, actually. So there is some relation also existing between the trigonometric ratio, sine theta, which is a relation between the cosec theta and cos theta, which is also relation between the sec theta, tan theta, which is relation between the cot theta. Both inverse relation exist here. So, but uh, in the case of tan theta, which is a relation between the sine theta and cos theta, and that is the ratio of sine theta and cos theta, that is tan theta, and cot theta, the ratio of cos theta and sine theta. so nothing but we have discussed the three identity properties or sin theta in terms of angle condition the sin theta is equal to p by h cos theta is equal to b by h tan theta is equal to p by b cosec theta is equal to h by p and sec theta is equal to h by b cot theta is equal to b by p and three identity properties we have already discussed and that is the sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 we have discussed here And already proved also by using the conditions. Sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one is also that is we have to discuss and proved also this point. Next, uh, cos square theta minus cos square theta that is also we have discussed in these sections. Now we have just discussed some trigonometric identities and some formulas of the trigonometric functions. <clears throat> we make some angles. And trigonometric ratio. Generally, theta is equal to L by a radial measurement and degree measurement that is we consider for the case of trigonometry. One is degree measurement. And another one is radial measurement. this is the two things we have required for the case of trigonometric ratio and degree measurement and that is the radian measurement we will just mention degree management and if the rotation of the initial side terminal side is 1 by 30 degree 1 by 360th of the revolution of the angle is to have the 1 degree Uh, just to represent one degree, degree is represent like this: c degree, zero degree, three degree. That is measurement of degree. And just the radian is just symbolically days. Divided in the sixty seconds, one sixteenth of the degree is called the minute. One sixteenth of a degree is called as the median. One degree relation between this and this. One degree that is represents sixty minute. This symbol is known as the minute. And one degree. But one minute is equal to sixty second. That is represent as the second. Okay. So one minute. This is second. So one degree here we represent that is sixty minute, and one minute is represent as the sixty second. 
So some of the angles whose measures of 360 degree, 180 degree, to 70 degrees, 420 degrees, we have to discuss. Okay, so we just discussed, remember here, one degree represents 60 minute. One minute represents 60 seconds. That is our relation actually. Radian, relation between degree and radian. What is the relation between degree and radian? So, 2 pi radian. Relation between degree and radian. Degree and radian measurement. So we just remember what is the degree and radian measurement we have to express here 2 pi radian. 2 pi radian. And that is equal to 360 degree. Or pi radian. That is equal to 360 by 2. That is 180 degrees Celsius. Okay. So that is basic concept when 2 pi radian is measured as the 360 degree Celsius and pi radian is measured as 180 degree Celsius. So just radian relation between here pi radian that means 180 degree. What is 1 radian? 1 radian is equal to 180 degree by pi. 1 degree is equal to 1 degree. Pi by 180 degree Celsius. Okay. So this is the actual relation concept here. Now we represent here a relation between degree and radian. And radian and degree, that is both of the relation is there. So, just we discuss about the degree and radian measurement. One degree I have represent here. One degree. That is represent pi by 180 degrees Celsius. That is in the form of this is degree and this is radian. Just we discuss 30 degree. 30 degree. That means pi by 180 degree into 30. That is equal to 0 is cancel pi by 6 degree Celsius. That is in the form of radian. Then again we discussed 60 degree, 45 degree, 45 degree. The same thing pi by 180 degree into 45. And just remember its value is equal to pi by 4. In pi by 4 is the radian form of the 45 degree, 60 degree. That is pi by 180 degree divided by 60. And that is equal to pi by 3 in the form of radian. Again, you also represented here that is degree Celsius and degree measurement. That is 90 degree. Then we can say that pi by 180 degree into 90 that is pi by 2 radian in the presence of radian 180 degree that is pi radian 270 3 pi by 2 radian 360 degree that is 2 pi radian we have just something you have to discuss this okay <clears throat> so this is the relation we have to compute at the degree in terms of radian and that is the relation with degree and radian so degree measurement and radian measurement, that is the two formulas we have to remember to computing all those things. Radian measurement, we define here. Radian measurement. So what is radian measurement? That is equal to pi by 180 into degree measurement. Right? And degree measurement.
and that is equal to 180 by pi into radian measurement. Okay. Radian measurement. Okay. This is one of the best conceptual things we consider for the degree measurement and measure measurement. This radian measurement and degree measurement. Just that is the good for us. We have discussed what is the relation between degree measurement and radian measurement. What is the zero degree, one degree in terms of radian and what is the 30 degree, what is the 45 degree, what is the 60 degree, what is the 90 degree. All of the degree measurement we convert to radian, radian measurement. And finally, we concluded here the radian measurement is equal to pi by 180 degree into degree measurement. And degree measurement is equal to 1 by 80 into radian measurement. So we have been all of this for this program and we have to complete this degree measurement and radian measurement. We have expressed the relation. So thank you for today. We'll discuss next class. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.